back. We have a spectacular uh, treat for you. We have we we're gonna call her Queen Cookie. That's your fa that's your uh, you know stage name, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Erlene Belcher. Yes. Back in the day, yes. Queen Cookie today. Right, right, <laughs> right. So Queen Cookie is going to cook for us. But you have a unique story, which I want to, before we make the food that we're going to make, um, I want to talk about your diabetes, right? Sure, sure. So you were diagnosed how long ago? March 2010. And what was your physical state at that time? Well, at the time, I didn't have any uh, symptoms of diabetes. Mm -hmm. And um, I had a heart cath. Mm -hmm. And my heart doctor at the time when he was getting ready to give me a stress test, he informed me that, oh, you have diabetes. It took me for a loop because my family physician hadn't informed me of that. So your blood sugar was not right. You had, you had the diagnosis mm -hmm. and um, they gave you medicine for a couple, couple weeks to yeah, try to get to my, under control. I went to my family doctor mm -hmm. after my heart doctor informed me of that diagnosis. And he said, yes, you have diabetes. And he gave me my numbers, my readings. Uh -huh. And he prescribed some medication for me. I took it for three days, and it made me feel funny. Mm -hmm. You know, it gave me diarrhea, <laughs> <laughs> which I didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> Got ya. Yeah. All and, right. And so, it made me feel funny. Yeah. So not I said, what you want. not what I wanted. So I thought about it, and mm -hmm. after three days of taking it, I decided I'm not taking this anymore. I can do this. I can do this. I can. Do I this. am the queen. Mm -hmm. So you changed your life. I changed my life. What'd you add into your life? Uh, more fruits and vegetables. I was the type of person, I've been exercising probably since my son was born mm -hmm. 42 years ago, mm -hmm. on and off. Mm -hmm. And I, I would always lose 20 pounds, 25, 30 pounds, regain 30, 35, 40. Right. That is everybody's story mm -hmm. with weight loss, right? Mm -hmm. We go up, we go down. Mm -hmm. I've probably lost a thousand pounds in my mm -hmm. life and found it. All right, so, but this time, you really changed your life. Yes, because I looked at eating as not a diet. That was my downfall. Mm -hmm. Because when a wedding would come, when a graduation would come, when a- When you get your own TV show. Mm -hmm. When a reunion would come, <laughs> you'd lose 20 pounds. I gotta right lose 20 on. pounds right. in a week. Right, <laughs> so I can make everyone see at the reunion, yes. and then- Yes, yes, okay. and then after the reunion, after the function, yeah. then there okay. you go again stuffing. So you changed your life. You're eating differently, you're exercising more, and how yes. much did you lose? Uh, totally, not since March of 2010, but probably I started this journey before I knew I had diabetes mm -hmm. in 1999. So you've lost? So I've lost a total of about 55 pounds. Amen, that's awesome. And you're not on any medicine? No. All right, so this is your medicine. You're going to cook. I said, come bring something, show us how to make something. What are you going to make for us today? I'm going to make a collard green okay. dish. And what's collard green? Collard green, you have uh, several greens uh, that's in the family. Uh, if anybody has had spinach, it's sort of in that family. Mm -hmm. And you have your mustard, your collards, your turnips, your kale, all superfoods. All superfoods, mm -hmm. and collard greens is a superfood. Yes. But they're not always super healthy if you tr you know, make them the way you used to make them. Yes. Now I'm, I'm going to tell you how I used to make them. Yes. I would add things like what we call fat back in our community. Mm -hmm jowls, mm -hmm. salt pork, um, ham that's, hocks. <laughs> that's not good. Fat back gives you a fat back. <laughs> yeah, it gave me about five fat backs. <laughs> okay, so you, it sounds great, but it's not good. So what, you you figured out how to make them without yes, those ingredients. Yes, yes. All right. I bet they tasted good, right? Oh my that's God. That's a sometimes treat. Yeah, that's a sometimes <laughs> treat. Yeah, okay. every now and then, maybe Christmas or Thanksgiving, but then yeah. you gotta go back. Okay, back to the cookie way. Yes. Queen cookie, what do you got? How do you okay. do Okay, so I have this collard green. I go to the store, I purchase the green, mm -hmm. then I bring them home, and one of the first things that I do is what we call picking them. They have a stem, mm -hmm. and you just pick that stem off and mm -hmm. discard that. Discard it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you do that. And you keep doing that. This is something for the kids to yes, do. Yes, yes, because it can be time consuming. Right. Some of them don't have the stem, so okay. but those that have the stem, you just pick those stems. All right, off. I'll keep picking. You tell me what's next. Okay, and then the next feature we do, mm -hmm. you have to make sure that a green is totally 100% clean. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes they'll come from the grocery store looking as though they're clean. But because they grow in soil, they have They're going to be in the dirt. So you really got to 
wash them? Right. And what I do is I collectively put them in a sink. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether we can go over to this sink and maybe I'll show you. I just take a few over to the sink. Right. I run water in my sink mm -hmm. and then I do them individually. I gotcha. You do them individually. You watch, do a good job wash washing. one this green is, at a time. You know what? My dad always says, don't do the lazy man's way. Yeah. You need to do, each one needs to be nicely done. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. All right, so then what? Don't worry about it. I'll keep doing this. Okay. You, here's your good ones. Okay, here's my good ones. Okay, right? give me my good ones. You take your good ones. And then the next thing you do after you've cleaned them thoroughly, mm -hmm. you just roll them. Mm -hmm. Roll them like that. Roll them like that. And then you take your pot. Oh, yes. And then you cut them. Cut them up. Just cut them like that. Okay. So you each do that for you each cut. one. Yep. Do one more roll, like cut. That. roll, cut. Roll, cut. Roll, cut. Okay, roll and cut. Mm-hmm. Chiffonade. Mm -hmm. Whatever that means. <laughs> I know. I learned that and I use it all the time because it makes me sound fancy. Uh, roll cut. <laughs> makes you sound intelligent. <laughs> it's an act. <laughs> uh, roll cut, 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 cut. Okay. So then, then what? Okay. And then you put all your greens, roll cut, in the mm -hmm. pot. Okay? All right. And, and then, then I. This is my substitute now. You do a all natural, 100% fat-free, MSG, no MSG added, chicken, chicken broth. broth. So you put that this in there? This is a substitute for fat back, ham hock, salt pork, all okay, that stuff. Okay, that'll do the trick. Pour that in there. And, up, and on your Facebook page, I saw you in a bikini, so Ooh. I know it must be working. <laughs> all right, so you put that in there? Yeah. Put that in there, and according on how many greens you have, mm -hmm. I could even use, let's say, two of them if two you need to. Two okay. of them if I need to. All right. Okay. And then Just what else you got? That. Throw in your other ingredients. Please. Okay. Tell me what those are because we're getting close on time. So okay. Tell me the other things. You don't even have to cut them up. You okay. Just rattle them off. All right. I slice up probably a half of an onion. Mm hmm And this is an another trick here is a green pepper. I slice up maybe a fourth of that green pepper. Uh -huh. Just throw that in there for flavor. Right. And I like to put a little kick in it. And these are bell pepper rings, hot rings. So a little heat. Yeah, a little heat. I right. throw a couple of those in there. A little pepper, just a little salt, and cayenne pepper gives it a kick. Whew! Kick. I'm afraid and, now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then so. a little Mrs. Dash, and then I put about maybe a tablespoon of cooking oil, either canola oil or olive oil. Okay. And then mm -hmm. you put it on the pot for mm -hmm. how long? Uh, I usually cook that about an hour, hour and a half. On a medium heat. Just to make it tender, mm -hmm. and all my ingredients are in there. Mm -hmm. And then? And then after I do that, then it's time to serve. Okay, so you're going to start plating this up the way you would do. Mm -hmm. I would just plate you do it your up. Way. Mm -hmm. Just put a little on a plate. Mm. You like that? All right, we've got about 40 seconds. Okay, 40 seconds, and then I run over here, and you can't have greens without a slice of cornbread. you got to have that cornbread with it. Put a little slice of cornbread. I put a couple sliced tomatoes. All right. Scallions, green cookie, onions. I love and it. There you go. Thank you so much. We'll have this recipe on our website, 13abc.com full plate. Queen Cookie is the expert on turning diabetes into a healthy lifestyle. Yes. And collard greens. Yes. I really like it. All right. Thank you. Thank you.